Here's a very good question. Is there any benefit to using dot format over an FS string? So here is the first one. For example, suppose that we want to say something like this, hi David, or for example, hello Alex, or whatever. So here is the format which we are going to use, greeting, and then the name. So now we can simply type text.format, and we can say that we can use these keys. For example, we can say the greeting should be, for example, hello, and the name name should be, for example, Sajjad, which is my first name. And then let's print this. And if I run a code, you can see it says, hello, Sajjad. Or for example, let's say, hello, Alex, or let's say, hi, Alex. And now if I run a code, you can see it says, hi, Alex. So the first difference is that we can use these keys, these names in dot format. So let's talk about the second difference. For example, suppose that we want to print something like this. Sajjad is a programmer and Sajjad likes Python. So in this case, as you can see in this placeholder, I should put Sajjad, so that's it. And for the second one, for the second placeholder, I should simply type a programmer, that's it. And now, as you can see here, we have two elements, element number one and element number two, but Python starts counting at zero. So Python says this is the element at index zero, and this is the element at index one. Why? Because Python starts counting at zero. So this is the element at index zero, and this is the element at index one. So here, we want to use the element at index zero, here, we want to use the element at index one. And once again, here, we want to use the element at index zero. So actually, we are reusing those things. And now if I print the text variable, and if I run a code, we can see we get the desired result. So the point is this, that we can reuse variables. Actually, we can reuse these things. I can mention another difference, or let's say another benefit of dot format but if i want to explain that you need to know a topic called classes or object oriented programming in python and we haven't covered that topic yet in this playlist so i'm not going to talk about that but anyway fs strings are more readable and faster but there are some cases which there are some benefits of using dot format, but generally people prefer to use fstring because it is more readable. This was one of the videos of a step-by-step -step tutorial playlist of Python. You can find a link to that playlist in the description below. And also we have other playlists for other topics, which you can find them on the channel page.